Okay, I want to follow up on rhythmic displacement. Uh, we'll use Crazy Train as an example, the intro to Crazy Train. It uses power chords, root 5 power chords. Uh, the chords we'll be using are F sharp, 2nd fret on your low E string, your open A, open E, and then uh, D on your 5th fret of your A string, and E on the 7th fret of your A string. Okay, the important thing here is the not necessarily just the notes you're playing, but what notes you aren't playing. Uh, so basically, it's a real simple rhythm. You play the first two notes out of the eight eighth notes in the first measure, and then the uh, second measure, you'll play the first two notes, and then mute for the next two notes, and then you'll play the next two notes, then mute for the next two notes. So what you wind up with is playing the eighth note off of one, the first beat of the first measure, like so, two, three, four. And that's what you have, you just have it quiet. So it's just like one and, two, three, four. Okay, so you're gonna mute over those other three beats. Okay, now for each of the next two chords, you're gonna play like one and, two, three and, four. Okay? And you're going to mute the second beat and the fourth beat. So it'll be like one, two, four. Okay. And then the next measure, it comes back to your F sharp again. One, two, three, four. And then goes to your D. One, two, four for your E. So you've got your D and then your E. So the whole thing played through is going to be the following rhythm. Two, three, four, two, three. Ah, uh, well, not perfect, but two, three, four, And then as long as you keep that rhythm up, it fits perfectly behind But the important thing is not to focus on that part of the song you focus on the bass and the drums that you're playing along with. And as long as you concentrate on which beats that you're playing on, or more importantly, which beats that you aren't. The way I do, the way I think about it is, I count the beats that I'm not playing on. Um, I don't always go two, three, four in my head. Sometimes I'll just hear the drums and then I'll hear the drummer, um, you know, play some kind of a, a little articulation as he's changing the measure getting ready to go into that next da da because uh, that one's got uh it's, it's it's basically like the kick drum playing that rhythm da 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 and so on uh over top of the uh beginning of the song but the important part really to that are the notes that you aren't playing Okay, and we'll use everything that we've learned so far to get that part down, like the uh, muting with this hand and the muting with this hand where you lift off the notes just a little bit. Okay. Uh, the previous stuff that we had done, the tabs that I sent, and then I've just uploaded uh, a link to the YouTube for you. Uh, I was demonstrating uh, just displacing one eighth note at a time. So it was like like one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, like that. With this, we're just displacing a lot more eighth notes, okay? We're just manipulating our rhythm. We've got a total of eight 
eighth notes in a measure. And for that first measure, we're getting rid of six of them. So we're just playing two, and then we're waiting on the count. We're either waiting on the drums or uh, counting in our head to get through the other uh, three beats, the other six eighth notes. You know, so whereas your entire measure contains one and two and three and four and, you're only playing one and two and three and four and, okay? You've got silence for those uh, other six eighth notes.